Coach, I didn't even know you wore glasses. I don't, but I should have been wearing them for the last 10 years, Brendan. I and mean, I can't see anything. Really? I can see you, but you're just like a ball of blur. Right. Of orange and blue. And it's just like colors. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? I'm over here, Coach. All right. Over here. Oh, and I hear your nasally voice, which is yeah. so annoying. Right. So I know it's you. Mm -hmm. So I use my ears. That's how I've gotten by. My sense of hearing is elevated. Right. So sometimes, Brendan, when one of your senses fail, like my eyes, your other senses take over, you know? But, yeah. Like Lou Ferrigno or Helen Keller. But, Coach, you can let people point laser beams in your eyes. Why not just get glasses? Glasses are for dorks, Brendan, period. No offense to the baby. <laughs> Although babies with glasses are even worse. They're like super dorks. You're going to let somebody cut open your cornea. Yeah, it's a one-time thing, Brent, and then I'm done, and I see perfect for the rest of my beautiful life. And, you know, this is a one-time offer today only, $115 for an eye. $115 an eye? Is this guy even licensed? Well, what do you work for the CIA, Brendan? Mind your own business. I want to see clearly, all right? I'm sick of being blind. What about contacts? You wear contacts. You wear contacts. Oh, you do it. You do it. I can't read this, Paula. Will you fill it out for me? Uh, you know, John, how long is this actually going to take? Cause uh, I, I, mean, I don't know, Paula. I'm not uh, a surgeon, so... I, I got some stuff to do. And... I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying I wish you didn't spring it on me right after soccer practice. I... Well, Paula, I wish you wouldn't complain to me before I get surgery. Uh, John... I'm the one going under the knife in about two minutes. Yeah, what should I put here for your social security number? I don't know, just make up a couple numbers. Closest family number in case of emergency? Um, I know I have an uncle. Uh, perfect, I'll put uncle. Just put my uncle. I'll put that in quotes, actually. Yeah. Okay, number two. So this is safe, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely safe. Yeah. We wear glasses, huh? Yeah. I would think that you'd have the surgery. I mean, you'd perform laser surgery. Oh, um, no. No, I, um, I don't do lasers or needles. What are these, doctor? Oh, sometimes, you know, you have to stay still. Um. Okay, you sit here, watch this, and, um, I tell you, I better go eat something or I'm gonna pass out. Uh, how long before the drugs kick in, doc? Um, I don't know. For me, it's pretty quick. But if you don't feel anything in a few minutes, grab a few more off the counter there. Oh, great. How many can I take? Uh, I generally go by the rule of whatever can fit in your fist. I also brought my own, so. Oh, what, what, what do you have? I have Percodin. Oh, okay. And Percocet. Mm-hmm. And alcohol. But just watch the video. Hello, customers. If you're watching this, then you may or may not be a candidate for laser eyeball surgeries. How do you do? My name is Ping Pong Von Laserstein. Today, we're going to talk about your eyes. Eyes? What's that? Hello, Tuku. I did not see you come in. Sorry to sneak up on you, Ping Pong. But what is eyes? Well, you know what laser eye surgery is, right? Uh-huh. The eyes is what laser topographical reshaping takes place upon. Oh, you mean like eyeballs. Exactly, Tuku. Now I understand it, but let's talk more about the laser topographical, whatchamacallit? Topographical eyeball corneal laser reshaping. Here's what we do. First, we give you some sleepy time feel-good pills. Then we put you on a table and tape down your head so you don't wiggle, giggle, sniggle. Then we prop open your eyes. You mean eyeballs, right, Ping Pong? That's right, Tuku. And we cut open your cornea. Whoopee! That sounds like fun. And then what, Ping Pong? Laser time! Well, hey, you feel like getting a head start on your homework? I think the question is, do you feel like getting a head start on my homework? Come on, what do you got? Oh, well, we're supposed to be doing these family trees, you know, boring, stupid, crappy family shrubbery. Family trees? Yeah. I think that'd be fun. It'd be kind of neat to see who we're related to. Here's what I like. I like that you're getting excited about doing this for me. What if we're related to someone really famous? Like, I don't know, like Neil Diamond. I guess that would be interesting. Hey, when we get home, we'll go online and we'll find one of those websites that helps you find out your lineage. All right. Have I ever told you where babies come from, Brendan? Yes, every day. Good. And then you can see real good, right? That's right, Tuku. And then you put in the magical eye drops. Whoopee! <laughs> that will help with Mr. Stingy. <laughs> I hate Mr. Stingy, Ping Pong. <laughs> hey, drugs working yet? <laughs> oh, I'd say that's a yes. Hey, Ping Pong and Tuku, I hate Mr. Stingy, too. I'd like to kill the son of a bitch. Okay, hold still. 
Doctor, I love ping pong and two coup. Mm hmm. It was funny. Okay. Play it again. Okay. You'll feel a slight pressure in the eyes. Okay, that's me cutting into them. Awesome. Now, see, I burned your cheek. You have to sit still. Is that a laser? Yes. You hit my cheek. Well, you moved. Oh. I smell burning eye. Is that a problem? Nope. Doctor, it was a pleasure. Oh. You're a good man. Thank you. Good stock. Okay. Give me another hug. All right, one more. Come on. Okay. Brendan, go start the car. All right, Doctor. You did your job. Okay. Now here we'll give you some money. John. There we go. There's your money. Thanks for the surgery. You're, you're welcome. Idiot. I can't see. Whoa. Well, uh, he should be fine. Um, just take him home and check on him every couple of hours. Home? To his house. He's going to need some attention for the next couple of days. Well, he's he, he's not ours, actually. Oh, well, he, he can't be alone. Can you give him to somebody else? Does anybody owe you a favor? Come on, Mom, let him stay. You look at him, he shouldn't be by himself. Yeah, Mom. Uh, I'm... Slumber party! Timmy was a boy and Timmy was his name. His parents were never around to watch him play. And he lived a life of perpetual boredom. I can't believe we have to do this stupid family tree thing. Yeah, well, what do you do, huh? Family stuff's personal. I thought you don't have to talk about family in school. Isn't there something like family and school should be separate? What kind of stupid assignment is that? Am I right? That's church and state. Oh. Not family and school. Well, well, my mom's doing mine, so, you know. My parents are in Tunisia, so I can't do it because I can't contact them. They didn't leave you a number to get in touch? I faxed their hotel. Hopefully they'll fax me back my family tree. Wake up, Mr. Sleepy Pants. Paging Dr. Sleepingberg. Hello, good morning. Do not Ow. approach me, Brendan, when I'm sleeping. That's how you get hurt. That <clears throat> is how you get hurt. <clears throat> Don't you want to take off the bandage and see what your new vision is like? Yeah. Paula, take a look. Are there any more bandages here? No, you're all clear, John. My eyes are open now, right? Yeah. Yeah, hi. Hi, I'm blind. Very funny. Very funny. I'm not kidding. I can't see. Very funny. Seriously? Well, doctor, I can't see. I, I understand. It's when do I get my eyesight back? I want it back. You said it was coming back. It is. What, what time do you have there? What do you mean there? What time zone are you in? Never mind. What are you talking about? It's gonna come back. I want it back now. You said it was coming back. Oh, hold on. Yes, Mr. Sullivan. I'll be right there. Look. Why are you whispering? Because I have people here. Where are you? I'm at my other job. What other job? I have to go. I thought you were an eye doctor. I am. Don't ever call me wait, at wait. this number again. Wait. Oh, my God. How am I going to get to work? I got to get to work now. I can't see. Ah! Coach? Brendan, don't drink the chocolate milk. It's gone bad. Hey, guys, I've traced uh, back the lineage of uh, P. Popo, my ferret. And his family's been through quite a lot. Really? How do you know all that? I uh, contacted the ferret breeder. He has a detailed records. Wow. Did you know that Popo is from the Ukraine? No. Yeah, but um, his family came over on the slow boat. Really? Why did they do that? Uh, escape communism. And then they settled in St. Louis in the 40s. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, Popo had more brothers and sisters, but they were put away because they carried the Ebola virus. Wow. Which wiped out St. Louis in the 60s. Our families are only as interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, your families are, you know, not ferrets. He's got a point. Yes, you're right. I can't get anything out of my dad. Every time I ask him about my mother's side, he starts acting all weird. 
Really? What do you mean? Like he starts laughing and then crying and then laughing and, and then uh, crying. He just wants attention. Why not just call her yourself? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. <laughs> you know something, Melissa? Nobody's going to know what your family history is, you know? You just make up the whole thing. Just make it up. Yeah, who cares? I mean, who cares about family trees anyway? It's Wednesday. Chocolate milk day! <laughs> what the hell? This is horrible. Please don't drink the chocolate milk. It's gone bad. I repeat, the chocolate milk has gone bad. Guys, this is so weird. Uh, Coach, uh, you are psychic. You are psych. Did you know that? What am I talking about? Of course you do. You're psychic. I'm telling a psychic he's psychic. It's because you went blind. Yeah. Right, Brendan told us about the whole chocolate milk thing, and you projected it. It happened, can... Coach. It happened. It happened. It happened. Right, you're like a wizard. Yeah, Coach, this is amazing. Listen, we have a lot of work to do, okay? Okay, first of all, we need to use your powers to fight crime. Definitely. Duh, Duh. you know? But uh, What am I going to do when I grow up? Who am I going to marry? Where will I live? Am I going to be a famous composer? Composer? Yeah. Really? Well, I play recorder. When's our next pop quiz? Uh, Coach, can you give us the answers to the homework? What is the number of the hotel in Tunisia where my parents are staying? Uh, Coach? Uh, and where is Tunisia? Coach? I think he's asleep with his eyes open. He did? Yeah, and it only cost us $20. Everybody heard you guys talking about him going blind and becoming a psychic. Wait, he's charging you guys to hear your fortune? Yeah, you better do it quick, Brendan. The line is getting long. Yeah! Yippee! Brenda, loan me $20. How's my husband? Um, I see, um, see a mustache. Yes. Did he have a mustache? He did. Yeah. And the boots. He was a working man. He did work. Yeah. And he's, I see water. Water and... Is there water? He was afraid of water. Right. Yes. Did he die? He, he's dead, right? Yes. Yes. He passed on. He loves you very much. He does? Yes. Will you give him a message for me? Sure. What is it, dear? I found another man. Oh, that's nice. 20 bucks, please. Thank you. You're a great man. All right, get out. Next. I think my partner's embezzling from you. Am I right? Yeah, I guess so. It's 20 bucks. Next. So how can I catch this Let's guy? Let's keep the line moving. Who's next? Hi. How will I die? Can you foresee that? Yes. Come here. Let me touch your head. Uh-huh. You're going to die peacefully in your sleep. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be nice. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's going to be soon. Oh. 20 bucks. Next. <laughs> Okay, apparently this guy is still alive, and uh, he's our second or third uncle or something. And he's out of prison now, it says. Well, that's good. At least yeah, he's that's... out now, you know, instead of tarnishing the family name. Well, yeah, but he's technically still on probation. Well, it's good to know we come from good stock. Yes, it is. Most of them seem to be carnies. Or on the lam. I feel like maybe not including them in the family tree. I wouldn't object to that. So what do we got? You, me, your father, your stepmother, your grandparents, and your sister. My sister and Josie. Yeah, but what do we really know about her? Well, she hasn't been to prison yet. Well, we don't really know that, do we? There were two days where I lost her. Yes. Brenda, outside. What? Big drama, outside, pronto. Can't make it work. I can't make the tree work. I don't know what to put down. Somebody doesn't have a good family. I know, Jason. Okay, that's the problem. I don't know what to put down. Wait, uh, hold on. Just calm down. It's I can't okay. calm down. It's okay. Look at all these branches. They're all blank, okay? I don't know what they expect us okay. to do with this stupid family it's tree just, project. It's just an assignment, Melissa. It's no big deal. 
What happened to making the whole thing up? What happened to that idea? Uh, she tried, but her made-up family was not that believable. Melissa, you put down Cinderella as your mother and the Lion King as your father. Mm-hmm. Jason, get some paper and an entertainment weekly. Let's do this right. Uh, what am I, your intern, Brenda? Just do it, Jason. Sorry. So, uh, what? You sleeping in my bed now? I am blind, Brendan. I have no idea where I am. Looks like you made a lot of money today, huh? Oh, yeah. It turns out that psychics make a lot of money. Hey, let me ask you something. Um, I've always wanted to know, like, how do you see the visions? Like, does it come to you in, like, a metaphor? Does it come to you, like, in a weird kind of uh, acronym? Or how does it... Basically, it's fairly easy. I make them up. You make it up? Well, I mean, people will believe anything. Wait a minute, no, I know you're psychic. You predicted the chocolate milk thing. No, I didn't. I just told you about it. The lunch lady told me to put away the milk before I forgot, left it out in the sun, and it went bad. Then I told you about it. Wait, so you're not even psychic? Of course not. You insane? But I told everybody you were. This is embarrassing. It's not embarrassing, Brendan. I'm making money. And you keep your mouth shut about it, Brendan, because I'm doing a big seance, which means more money, and I don't need you wrecking it. I can't even look at you right now. Hey. Hey, give me that. What the hell is this? You reading a magazine? Yeah, I like magazines. Well, you're supposed to be blind! Shh, shh, shh. That is absolutely despicable. You make me sick. Coach, when did you get your sight back? Well, it's immaterial, Brendan. When did you get your sight back? Well, I was blind for a little while. Okay, were you blind when we took off your bandages? Uh, yes. Okay. Were you blind when you broke my fish tank? No. Okay. Were you blind when you peed all over the hallway? No. Are you drunk? Yes. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Can I pinpoint a time that I have not been blind and drunk? Mm-hmm. No. Well, how's your vision now? It's pretty great. <sighs> okay, let me tell you something. I'm not going to tell anybody about you being a fraud, but I want 50% of everything you made today, everything you're going to make at the seance. Whoa, 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 yes. Brenda. 50%. What, what happened to the holier-than-thou, I was doing the wrong thing attitude from you about a minute ago, now you want my money? A couple minutes ago, I didn't know you were a fraud. I see. I like your style. Yeah, it's all right. You're huh? a liar and a cheat. That's cool. I'll give you 10%. Five. Uh, okay. You just went down, by the way. What? You just went down. I did? Yeah, I offered you 10. You said five. I meant to say 20? Probably. Ladies and gentlemen, before we bring out the psychic, we ask that... Please keep your table talk down to a minimum. And turn off all cell phones and pagers. And now, we give you the Blind Prophet. I feel that I'm being pulled in this direction. Did someone over here lose a loved one? Hmm? How about over here? I'm getting a strong feeling from here? Here. Say, between here and here, anyone. Between this hand and this hand, going all the way back. No. So you mean to tell me that in this room full of people, no one, you don't know anyone who's died? No one. Nothing. Look, it is statistically impossible that no one here knows someone who died. <sighs> all right, who wants me to channel some dead celebrities? How about that? Fun, huh? Yeah. All right, here we go. Mm, I'm J I, uh, I'm Jimmy Stewart. Oh, I miss you. I miss doing movies. I gotta go. Hey, Pilgrim, what are you doing? I miss doing movies. And I'm John Wayne. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. That's some wacky, wild stuff. I'm Johnny Carson. I'm Zeus, god of lightning and thunder. I'm Jimmy Cagney. Be good to yourselves, you dirty rats. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Now, does anyone have a question for... King Arthur of the Round Table. Oh How about you over there in the blue? Hey, Mr. McGurk, I thought you were supposed to be blind. I am, I'm blind. Hey, I thought you were King Arthur. I am King Arthur. How come you answered when I called you McGurk? Because I thought you said King Arthur. Hey, this guy's a phony. I, I want my money back. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, everybody, hold on. All right? Just relax. I can explain this whole thing. Let me just make my way to this door because there is something outside this door that will explain everything. Okay? See you later.
I have something to tell you guys about P. Popo, my ferret's family tree. Yeah? Yeah, it's crap. Um, you know what else? P. Popo escaped a year ago. In fact, I don't even know that I had a ferret in the first place. I think it was imaginary. Well, then how could he have been... I don't think there even is such a thing as ferrets. All right. Sorry. It's okay, Jason. Yeah, it's all right. We didn't really believe you anyway. Well, here's the weird part. Jason's imaginary ferret had a bigger family than ours. I mean, look at this, right, Mom? Yeah, but that's not bad. Having a small family is a good thing, Brendan. We don't have to send out a lot of Christmas cards. I guess so. I like our intimate little group. Brendan, what are you going to put down for Josie? Oh, you know, well, you know, she's adopted. Mm -hmm. And her parents wanted to remain anonymous, so, you know, what do you do? Yeah, but... We have our suspicions. We think it's Don Ho and Eartha Kitt. Oh, how can it not be? Look at her. She, she looks like so Don Ho cute. and Eartha Kitt. Who'd you end up deciding on for parents, Melissa? Hi, everyone. And welcome to my family tree. My life is great. As you can see here, my mother is the beautiful princess, Cinderella. You may know her from such films as Cinderella. She and my father met shortly after he left the WWF and just before being elected the first independent governor of Minnesota. I have seven brothers. Their names are Happy, Sleepy, Dopey, Doc, Grumpy, Lumpy, and Stu. And my uncle Hulk Hogan comes over every week to read me bedtime stories. This is a reenactment of P. Popo's cross-Atlantic adventure coming to the New World to escape the Red Menace. Welcome to Ellis Island. What's your name? P. Popowitz. Well, in America, you're just P. Popo. Where are you from? Ukraine. All right, get in line with the other ferrets. Where are my bags? I don't know. Okay. I love America. Hooray!